realize my ambition to serve the people. Blood attack. Huo Jia and Shun Yo are brilliant indeed. Everyone, this is our chance to. Cells of Lubu for good. Pang <laughs> Castle belongs to Master Lubu. You will not take it. Master Leo Bay's family is here. I will die before I let anything happen to them. Now, take defensive positions. Does keep Pen Castle from being lost. This victory was made possible due to your efforts. Whoa! What a show, brother! Understand. You plan on breaking the floodgates and flooding Shappy? I will never allow that! This is our best chance to kill Lu Bu. Therefore, I refuse to let anybody stand in our way. Capture that position. I'm relying on everyone to do their best here. Get out of my way! I can't believe it. I've dropped my guard. I have shamed my father's name. Master Shun Yo, we finished destroying this floodgate. Excellent. We have accomplished our duty here. can begin moving towards Shapi Castle. We will meet up with our allies on the front lines and slay Lu Bu. This victory was made possible due to your efforts. 
Your talents have kept us alive thus far. They must be targeting the floodgates to launch a flood attack against us. I cannot allow that to come to pass. I cannot allow them to interfere with our strategy. I must hurry on ahead. We only move forward! We got moving. I think securing that area will prove beneficial to our cause. Time to march. Let's go! Impressive display of light. I shall do what I can to match it. I cannot believe that I was bested. Even after giving it my all, you have earned my respect. I shall surrender to you quietly. Wonderful news. It looks like I accomplished my duty admirably. Yeah. <laughs> Enemy forces have infiltrated the castle. Master Lubu, I suggest a plan to deal with them. I do not need a plan to crush insects. I will just stomp on whoever I see. Get out of my way! A water attack? How petty. Fire our arrows at the intruders from the ramparts. Forward! Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Water! I just thought of water. We must ensure that each unit regroups at once. So shopping is to be the place where my dreams are ended. It is most vexing to watch one's vision clouded by violence and stupidity. This victory was made possible due to your efforts. Okay, that takes care of things here. Now, to meet up with Master Cao Cao and the others. We only move forward! Let me go! You impudent maggots! How dare you play- Sheer might, while shunning intellect and cunning. 
That is what led to your downfall, Boo Boo. I lost to someone weaker than me. It's something called strategy, Lubu. Someone like you, who depends on physical strength, will never be me. Then tell me, what would happen if you add my strength to this thing you call strategy? Huh. So you wish to pledge service to me? <sighs> Master Tsao Lubu is a beast. Don't let desire for strength deceive you. Uh, damn you, Liu Bei! Uh, uh! Farewell, Lu. Let your pride in being the best die with you here in Xiaopi. Uh! Beast born of the chaos has been slain. Liu Bei, you may rule over Shu province once more. I have returned to Shu province, but only after drawing its people into the maelstrom of war and watching so many lose their lives. Master Cao Cao is right. Lu Bu had to be removed for the sake of future peace, but I believe there must have been a way that involved less bloodshed. Master Cao Cao is the kind of man who will always take the shortest route to his destination. For his goal of ending the chaos of war, no amount of death and destruction will be too steep a price for him to pay. He's totally different from you, brother. All the more reason we should be glad that we've escaped him back to Shu province. Let's make this into a territory that Cao Cao will be jealous of, brother. Yes. We must begin by rebuilding this land which has been ravaged by the repeated scars of war. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, I will need both of you to help me make this land rich and prosperous. Listen closely, my comrades. Yuan Shu has dishonorably claimed the title of Emperor. It is our duty to slay this traitor! Yuan Shao, forgive me, but I shall be taking command of our army for this battle. We cannot allow our enemy to escape us like Dong Zhuo did. What are you implying? There is no point in using the Imperial Seal to name yourself Emperor. We cannot allow such ignorance to go unpunished. I agree. I served Yuan Shu, and he relied too much on his name and position of authority. If we let him continue, the land will only fall deeper into darkness. Th th that is a remarkable coincidence! I was just thinking the exact same thing! He brings shame upon the noble house of Yuan, and I will bring judgment down upon him! 
Our motives may differ, but we appear to be united in our desire to bring down Yuan Shu. As for myself, I cannot allow Yuan Shu to threaten the peace of Shu province any longer. I swear that his rampage will be stopped here! To claim the title of Emperor and bring turmoil to the land, I can't. your blades against me. I am your emperor. Someone slay these perfidious fools. I see your every move. Your skills are simply magnificent. I don't really like defending, but I'll do what needs to be done!
great strength. I'm going back for now. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Overcome so many. You bring me hope. For my aspirations, I will fight to the end. Oh, the only move. Oh, 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 oh. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall. Impossible. Oh, unthinkable. Inconceivable. I am the emperor. How could I be forced to endure such an outrage? So this is what happens to those who would dare take the name of the Emperor. I wonder what waits for me at the end. Yuan Shu has perished. As the true inheritor to the rule of the noble Yuan clan, it is my task now to lead this land in the right direction. So now he states his claim to the nobility after Yuan Shu has been eliminated. The land is no longer a place that can be ruled on the strengths of one's name alone. It takes power to bring about a new world order. That is why I have fought all this time and will continue to do so. When we were there, he was obsessed with being in a position of authority. Of course, that alone will get you nothing in this world. We couldn't care less about one's name or authority. We just need a land to call our own, and plenty of powerful allies to have our back. Now that our objective has been achieved, the coalition is disbanded. We fought as allies here, but we will soon be enemies. Sooner or later, Shu province will come under threat. When it does, what will I be able to do? My lord, a messenger has arrived from Lord Dongcheng, attendant to his Imperial Majesty. Is that so? Then you must show him in at once. Unfortunately, the Emperor is now little more than Cao Cao's puppet. Lord Dong Cheng proposes to slay this traitor and rescue the Emperor. Lord Dong Cheng is recruiting like-minded individuals to his cause. Lord Liu Bei, would you consent to adding your name to this declaration of intent? The names of Master Yuan Shao and Master Sun Se are here. Still, while his path is not the one I would have chosen, I would not have been able to return to Shu Province were it not for Master Cao Cao. So then you intend to side with the traitor. Is that your decision, Master Liu Bei? No. If his Imperial Majesty is displeased, then it will affect his leadership, and the people will not know peace. I will lend you what little strength I have. Thank you, most kindly. I must go and make my report to Lord Dong Chang, so if you will excuse me. It looks like Cao Cao's finally going to get his comeuppance. Still, brother, I must say that something about this doesn't seem right to me. If we had been in league with Master Cao Cao, then their plan would have been exposed at once and the messenger slain. And yet, the messenger was quite happy to show us the document without any sign of concern for his own safety. 
His actions strike me as far too cavalier for a secret messenger. I bring news! Cao Cao's vast army is on the march towards Shu province. What? Why would Master Cao Cao attack us? I bring fresh intelligence. It appears that Cao Cao has raised troops in retaliation for Lord Liu Bei's alleged involvement in a plot to assassinate him. No. He must have gotten a hold of that document I signed. Now that it's come to this, we have no choice, brother. We have to prepare to face them in battle right away. But we are heavily outnumbered. If we meet them head on, we will simply be shattered into a thousand pieces. Holding up in the castle will be just as futile. Then what do you suggest we do, huh? Abandon Shu province and flee. If I am not here, Shu Province should be able to escape the ravages of war. Brother. You're serious? Shu Province has been the site of conflict for far too long. Now, at last, its people are able to live in peace. I cannot allow my own carelessness to threaten that peace. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei. I ask that you show forbearance. For now, we must flee from Cao Cao's clutches. Cao Cao's forces... ...much more quickly than I had anticipated. We're completely surrounded. The enemy is large in number. Trained still. We must find some way to escape this dire situation. Finally cut you down. We'll be unable to retreat unless we do something about it. Get out of my way! Don't let this victory go to your head. I'll cut down anybody who stands in Cao Cao's way. Alright, now we can move on. Hurry! Let's go! We have somehow managed to extricate ourselves from the jaws of death. Is everyone all right? They went this way! Don't let them get away! Uh, we've run so far and yet we still cannot shake them. Damn it! Why do Cao Cao's men have to be so stubbornly persistent? There's nothing else for it. 
I will act as a decoy. What? Uh, hey! What are you saying, brother? You could not be allowed to perish here, brother. You must flee and stay alive. Zhang Fei, you must keep him safe. Wait! Guan Yu! Damn and blast it all! Come on, brother. If we stay here, we'll end up getting caught as well. Guan Yu, forgive me. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Master Yuan Chao, I must thank you humbly for having the magnanimity to take one such as myself under your wing. You need not grovel so. It is the duty of a true nobleman such as myself to show pity to those less fortunate. Observe! As the mighty Yuan Shao brings the haughty Cao Cao to justice! At least, that is what I would like to be able to say. But, hard as it may be to believe, our forces are in fact struggling against a single enemy officer. It is most disagreeable indeed. My men are positively terrified of this ruffian. I had not heard that Cao Cao's forces contained a warrior of such ferocity. Indeed. They say he has a fearsome appearance, with a long, magnificent beard. Hmm, come to think of it, did not one of your sworn brothers look a little like that? Well, you're with us now. I'm sure any sworn brother of yours would not obstruct us. Could it be? Guan Yu? Master Liu Bei! And you are? My name is Zhao Yun. I formerly served Master Gong Sung Zan, but now I wish to serve you, if it pleases you, my lord. Hey, you sure you know what you're saying? We don't even have a land to call our own, you know, we're- To Liu Bei, which has drawn me to you. The desire to rescue those in need. I have met no other man in this war-torn land whose soul is so merciful. It is to you whom I wish to offer my service. I am but a wanderer in this land. If you serve me, you will be forced to endure great hardship. But if you still wish to accompany us, then I would be glad to have you, Zhao Yun. My lord, I will dedicate my very life to the service of your every wish, Master Liu Bei. As we suspected, Lord Guan Yu is with Cao Cao. What? You mean he's serving Cao Cao now? N no not exactly. It seems he surrendered temporarily and ordered that Lord Liu Bei and the others might escape. We are in the exact same situation, Zhang Fei. We are clinging to life, reliant on the goodwill of Master Yuan Shao. These sacrifices are unavoidable if we want to walk the path in which we believe, and if we want to see our dear brother again. Well, when you put it like that... Give Guan Yu a message for me. Tell him we are without a home, and are in no position to welcome him back yet. But we intend to leave the service of Master Yu and Shao during this battle, and we will meet with him then. Yes, my lord. It is time for me to leave the service of Master Yuan Shao and walk my own path. After we meet up with Guan Yu and Xu Xiong, we will make for Jing Prop.
Um... My name is Hu. My s in the path of justice has fallen before me. May this victory bring us closer to our goal. Wow, just look at you fight. You're amazing. Easy interlopers. Let's get rid of them. Quickly! Engineers! Prepare a fire attack! Some damage is acceptable. Stop them! Now's my chance! Take this! Attack us! 
just here. Everyone prepare to defend this spot. Good. Everything is ready. Engineers, start the fire. This area belongs. This is the. How did I fail so badly in my duty? May this victory bring us closer to our goals. Wow. Just look at you fight. You're amazing. That's the Tao Tao. I am indebted to you and to the other officers of your army. Now, though, it is time for me to head to Xu Chong, where my brother waits. That beard! I know who that is! That's Guan Yu! This is a chance to make a name for myself! There are also allies of Liu Bei hiding in the by you and Chao's army, boss. We'll have to knock him over and hurry to Master Leo Bay. This takes care of the men of Yuan Chao's forces. But the road ahead of us remains long. We must hurry. Are you another one of the bandits, causing problems in this area? No! You're wrong! <clears throat> you! You listen here! I am a follower of the great hero, Guan Yu! I am Zhou Zan, The swift and the powerful! Ah! Do you think that you can fool me? Master Guan Yu wouldn't allow someone like you to join him! Now wait! Wait! <laughs> It's true! He said I could join him! I have received word remnants of the Yellow Turbans were still causing problems. I believe you are obviously one of them. I am Xiao Yun! I will not allow bandits to go free. Uh, what? Xiao Yun? Then you're... you're just like Bob. Uh. Uh. Wait! Listen to me for a moment! Ah! He got away. Never seen someone run so fast. Hey! 
It is my duty to defend this place. I won't back down to Liu Bei's forces. May this victory bring us closer to our goal. Wow. Just look at you fight. You're amazing. Bring us closer to our goal. You are unstoppable! Cannot let your actions stand. I shall be the shield that stops your advance cold. It seems our usual methods will not be enough. We must look to utilize our siege weapons as well. Your might is overwhelming. It seems I was not strong enough to stop them. 
If I let you pass here, it will cause trouble for Cao Cao. I suggest you make it easy on yourself and die quietly. <laughs> to our goals. Another obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. Hmm. I can see you're desperately running for your lives. However, you won't be able to shake me off that easily. How did I let myself be defeated? I will remember this humiliation when I'm standing over your body at our next encounter! Now's my chance! Take this! Cao Cao will pursue us no further. Fine work, everyone. Fear the dragon's roar! Mon Yu, I am so glad to see you're alive! So very glad. I apologize for worrying you so, brother. You should be sorry. First you get captured, then you- Master Liu Bei has been good enough to take me into his service. He's pretty handy in battle, brother. I see. I am delighted to see another fine warrior in our ranks on whom we can rely. I am blessed by so many talented comrades, and yet, I myself have still achieved nothing. Worse, my own foolishness has forced us all out of our homes and into the wilderness. I bent my knee before Cao Cao. But, that was out of a desire to stay alive, so I might one day help you realize your dream, brother. We must all be grateful that we have our lives. We must not lose sight of our goal, and march onwards. Thank you, everyone. But we cannot simply afford to wander the land aimlessly forever. It is my intention to ask for the aid of Master Liu Biao of Jing Province. Jing Province has been relatively untouched by the chaos of war. And Master Liu Biao is my kinsman. I have faith that he will welcome us with open arms. I'm honored that you would ask for my help, Master Liu Bei. It is my great joy to welcome a man of your reputation. I am adrift in this land, and yet you would welcome me so warmly. Master Liu Biao, no words can express my gratitude. Please, you must think of this place as your own, and make yourself at home. I am most grateful for Master Liu Biao's hospitality, but I cannot afford to simply wander from one place to the next and allow myself to be a victim of this war. The time has come. I must find out what I can do for my people, and what I can do for my land. Well, at least here we won't come under attack. You should have all the time you need to find the answer. I have faith that you will soon know what it is you must do, my lord. We will support you until the day that your vision is realized, brother. I am most grateful to all of you.
forces of Cao Cao defeat the armies of Yuan Shao at Guandu. The Yuan family loses momentum and eventually is wiped out. Cao Cao is now the closest to gaining control of the entire land. Elsewhere, Sun Quan has inherited control in Jingdong following the death of his brother, Sun Ce. His force, however, cannot compare to that of Cao Cao. Liu Bei has yet to find a land and is currently taking refuge with Liu Biao in Jing. He has given Xin Ye to govern, but he has practically no force of arms. This is truly the age of Cao Cao. Master Liu Bei, I have received reports that Cao Cao's forces have begun to move. Tuh. He's surely preparing to invade Jing province, brother. Uh, it seems my presence will bring the strife of war to the peaceful land of Jing. I was forced to crawl to safety from Shu province. I am not confident that I can protect Xin Ye either. Pull yourself together, brother! This is no time to show weakness! Master Liu Bei, should we not first see what can be done before we admit defeat? Zhao Yun's right. We'll never get anywhere feeling sorry for ourselves. We have to think of a way to stop them. Of course, yes. I will see what can be done. Thank you, both. But I cannot simply allow the chaos of war to follow me wherever I go. I must find a way that leads to a peaceful future for my people. So then, Cao Cao's great southern campaign has begun. I took a little trip out to scout their forces, and I gotta tell you, he's got some serious numbers. They look as scary as Master Zhao- Uh, nothing. <laughs> Zhou Tsung, are you still frightened of Master Zhao Yun? Returning to more urgent matters though, I hear that Cao Cao's forces are using a brand new formation. Yes, it seems everyone has heard. Cao Cao wishes to slay Master Liu Bei. Were that not the case, he would not bother with a complicated formation like the Eight Gates. I haven't seen you around here before. Who are you? My name is Xu Xu. Due to a confluence of circumstances, I have decided to lend my expertise as a strategist to Master Liu Bei. Master Liu Bei? Does he really trust this shady character? I suppose it's in Master Liu Bei's nature. I must admit that I am uneasy too. But casting suspicion upon our allies will not help us through this crisis. Your name is Xu Xu, you say. If you claim you are here to help and Master Liu Bei trusts you, then I will do what I can to aid you. You have my thanks. For Master Liu Bei, I will show you how that formation can be overcome. Everyone, follow Xu Xu's directives. If you work together, you can overcome Cao Ren. Breaking the Eight Gates formation will be no easy task. Listen very carefully to my instructions. Go. 
I'll run right through this. No one can stop me now. against Liu Bei. Just crush him with strength. I'd hope to seize the advantage, but it seems I underestimated the enemy. God. Liu Bei's forces can't... will be safe now. We should proceed. This area belongs to us now. It would certainly help our cause to have a siege weapon or two, but I hardly think the enemy will willingly hand theirs over. For the weapons? You drive them back! You're not getting your hands on our siege weapons. Prepare yourselves! How did I let this happen? Now the enemies have taken our weapons! Now's my chance! Take this! I'm 
done. I never thought we'd lose the siege weapons. Further pursuit is now pointless. Give up all the weapons and retreat. May this victory bring us closer to our goal. We've managed to get away. This will allow us to use the siege weaponry to attack the Eight Gates formation. Formation. This is where we knock aside your pathetic little attack. The dragon's rule. The formation is complex and almost organic in design. Attacking a single point is useless. It will be repaired immediately. You can either take down the strongest officers or break it down gradually from the weakest areas. We must decide on a pulse. Then it is time to unleash the fire. This should keep the enemy from annoying us unduly. The dragon's roar! Ah! Oh, what? Fire! The fire is spreading! Our shields and weapons are burning! The dragon's roar! Ah! No! Ah! We're in the palm of Lord Sauron's hand. Shield, forward! Siege weaponry unit! Keep firing! Show the battlefield! We managed to repel Tsao Tsao's forces. This is all thanks to you, Xu Xu. You have my gratitude. I'm just glad I was able to help. Be warned. South South will not give up just yet. It is hard to believe that we could claim victory over South South's colossal army with so few men. Yeah, we haven't had a win like this in ages. I've got to say, it feels pretty good. This victory is due to the commitment you all showed, and to Shushu's strategies. Well, it's really thanks to the faith you showed in me, Master Liu Bei. Not many leaders would appoint an unknown entity like myself as their strategist. And my faith in you has been proven justified. There will be no problems in convincing everyone to cooperate with your plans going forward. Shushu. Will you consent to joining our army and fighting with us again? I could ask for no greater honor than to be appointed strategist to one such as yourself. 
and I would like to accept without hesitation, but... What's the matter? Is there some problem? The thing is, my mother is very ill. She is in Shu Chung and is being looked after by Cao Cao's people. If I stay by your side any longer, I fear that she will be in danger. I see. That does make things difficult. In fact, I should have never really helped Master Liu Bei at all. But I met him and found myself drawn to his greatness of spirit. And before I knew it... I am a weak man. I am not strong enough to abandon my mother to her fate and serve you. You mustn't be so downhearted. Why not simply come back to us once your mother's condition improves? Master Liu Bei, you are too kind. But I cannot accept your offer. The fact that I cannot turn my back on my mother is a fatal flaw. It makes me wholly unsuited to the role of strategist. What are you doing? Now you're just bringing everyone down. Yes, I'm sorry. I should never have come here. So, am I to take it that this is your final decision, Shushu? Master Liu Bei. May fortune favor you, Shushu. I will pray for your mother's speedy recovery. Thank you. Before I leave, I must give you a parting gift. It is the least I can do for you. Here in Jin Province, there is a genius known as the Sleeping Dragon. His name is Jugo Liang. And he is a far more accomplished strategist than I am. I suggest that you arrange a meeting with him. The Sleeping Dragon, Zhuge Liang. Master Liu Bei, allow me to ask you one thing. Amongst this chaos, tell me what do you fight for? I want a world without tears. A world without sadness. I've come this far wanting that, yet not doing anything to achieve it. My thoughts run ahead, but I can't see the path that I must take. Master Zhuge Liang, please, show me my one true path. The only path I can show you is the one that might lead to heartbreak at times. Faced with that and with suffering, can you move forward? without turning aside. If it leads to the world that I want. I can see how much this means to you. Then? I, Zhuge Lian, will give my life to help you achieve your desire, Master Liu Bei. There is currently no army in the land which can match that of Cao Cao. No one can hope to defeat Cao Cao alone. The second most powerful force is led by Sun Quan of Jiandong. His army is no match for Cao Cao's, but 
he has a solid base in Jiangong, populated with loyal followers. In order to take the first steps toward the land you dream of, Master Liu Bei, we must develop enough strength to stand alongside these two great forces. But as you know, Zhuge Liang, I have no home of my own. What you speak of is impossible. If we can secure a land upon which to stand, and allow your grand ambition to gather more followers, then there is every chance it could happen. Cao Cao seized upon a faded moment in time, while Sun Quan used the power of a land base. For you, my lord, the key to drawing the people to you is in your virtue and benevolence. You must walk the path of righteousness. Once you have begun, we will join forces with Sun Quan, and together we will oppose Cao Cao. The path of righteousness. That is the road for me. Your words have cleared the fog from my mind. I see clearly now a vision for the future. Allow me once more to formally request your help. Will you guide me as my strategist? Help me defeat Cao Cao and enable me to build a land of peace? I will. I pledge to use every ounce of my mental acuity to support your grand ambition, my lord. Zhuge Liang, I am putting you in charge of our forces. You must lead us safely out of this crisis. Very well. I will find a way to repel Cao Cao's forces. Wait just a minute, brother. I can understand why you want to rely on a strategist, but we don't know anything about this guy. I don't feel comfortable with him ordering me around. I must say that I feel Zhang Fei has a point. It is one thing for him to propose a strategy, but another matter entirely to entrust the command of the entire army to a newcomer. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei. I trust Zhuge Liang. I ask that you comply with his orders. Well, if you say so, brother. Very well. Thank you both for understanding. Now, if you will allow me, I would like to explain the plan. The enemies outnumber us significantly. In order to overcome this deficiency, I intend to overcome Cao Cao's forces with a fire attack. Huh, you really think it'll be that easy? Give him a chance, Zhang Fei. Victory will be impossible without your help. I hope you will give your all for our cause. The of Cao Cao's forces will be stopped here at Baowenpo. Coordination between the various units will be the key to victory in this battle. Everyone! I ask that you follow my directives. I call upon the thunder!
Set. 